Hey guys, really quick before I jump into my video today, I just have a little bit of an announcement and I need your help. I had somebody who placed an order with me last night. It was on Wednesday night and you used the hostess code but you clicked no contact and that means I don't know who you are. And so I was super sad because I have free product for you and you used the hostess code so you get to be a part of my club and I have no way to contact you. So if you placed an order with me on Wednesday night and you did not receive an email from me, you used that hostess code, please, please, please email me and let me know so that I can get you your free product and get you into the club. Thank you guys so much and let's dive right into the video for today. Hello everybody and welcome to my video today, you guys. This is Tina from Loving Life's Little Blessings and today I have a card for you guys and I have to say I'm totally sorry I missed you guys yesterday. I meant to have a video up for you guys on Wednesday but it just did not work out. I have a friend who's going through some stuff and she called me when I was getting ready to film my video and I just chose to be there for her. So I totally missed my video for you guys yesterday. So I'm super sorry about that. Today we're gonna make a card video and we're gonna use a color challenge. I'm actually joining in again with the Global Design Project website. And you guys, this website, I love it. The Global Design Project, uh, peeps have really got it together and I love them. It really pushes me outside my comfort zone and I really love that. So we're going to be using Tangelo Twist, Early Espresso, and Bermuda Bay. And you guys know my love affair with Bermuda Bay. When this ink pad, if it ever goes away from Stampin' Up! again, I do not know what I will do. So let's get started. I have a couple stamp sets that I'm going to use. We're going to be using all of this ink. So I'm going to be using this image from this stamp set. I have had this stamp set now for several months and have not used it. So I wanted to dive in and use it. So we'll use that. And then I'm just using some of the sentiments from this set uh, to pair with it. So I have a few things here and we're going to emboss. So I'm going to jump right through this and get started and go pretty quick. So I have a card base we'll be using a little bit later. And then I have a Bermuda Bay piece and then an early espresso piece right here. We are going to do our embossing first because otherwise things could get messed up later on. So we'll use our powder bag. We're using white embossing powder and I'm just gonna speed through this process. Okay, so I have this piece embossed. So it's just saying, you rock. My you rock is really far down on the card, and you'll see that as we zoom in. So that's okay, I'm just gonna go with it. Um, it's just because I was trying not to get my head in the uh, frame. So the next thing I have is just a piece of Whisper White card stock. And over here on the side of me, I just have my Stampin' Scrub, and we're gonna need that. So we need two of the circles in each color. So Tangelo Twist, Early Espresso, and Bermuda Bay. You're gonna wanna make sure your ink pads are really inked up when using solid images like this. You're gonna space them a little bit far apart because we are going to be punching these out. So you want to have enough of a border that they punch out correctly. I think that's gonna be okay. And then we'll do Bermuda Bay over here. Okay, so then we can set that aside. We're gonna take our one and three fourth inch punch and we're gonna punch these out. It's gonna leave a white border. So you're gonna wanna make sure you get that centered and it's okay if it's not perfect. We're gonna be layering these together so it doesn't have to be really precise. So we're 
Okay, so we're all done with that, and we're really almost done with this card. So now this piece, okay, so we'll do this piece first. Now we're gonna start out, and we're going to layer these. You can start out with any color you want. And at first, when I first started doing this, I was really, I kind of tried to hide the butterflies because the butterflies are pointed kind of in one direction. So when you're layering these out, you're gonna have to keep that in mind. But then I realized that it just looked neat with the butterflies kind of flying down the edge of the, pay, of the uh, card. Okay, so then I want, now this is where it gets a little tricky because then I lay these out and you find a way you like them and then you gotta lift them up to put the adhesive on there. Okay, so you can see how I did that. I just kind of lifted pieces up and then it looks okay. I think when you look at something for too long, I think then you start feeling like, oh my gosh, it's not working or it doesn't look right. And it's just because you've been staring at it too long. So the next piece we're gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and put foam on this and I'm using this really sturdy foam. So now we have this part and that is why I was able to leave these hanging over a little bit is because this was a layer. So I don't know if I mentioned at the beginning of the video that this challenge this week is a color challenge and it is with the Bermuda Bay, the Tangelo Twist and the Early Espresso. So now I just have a bunch of die cut flowers here and these flowers came from the Framelit set uh, I'll pop it in on my supply list, which you can get to by just going right up here to my coordinating blog post or down below in the YouTube description. And I'll have a supply list with all of the, uh, where I got everything. And um, I just chose these little flowers because I thought that they would uh, work well. So what I'm doing is, because there's a blue circle here, I'm putting an orange flower here. There's an orange circle here, so I'm putting a blue flower there. And I'm just trying to um, sort of like balance my colors out. And I really wanna overlap like this flower, I wanna overlap some on to the circle. So again, I'm just gonna speed through this and I'm gonna place these. I kind of, you know, change my mind a little bit and go back and forth so you'll see a little bit of that and then I'll come back and we'll finish up the card. So you can see I've just placed those flowers uh, in, the, you know, all over the place. And then, of course, I'm going to add my rhinestones. And this will cover up the dimensional. You can see that there's some adhesive right in the middle of that flower. But the rhinestone will cover that up. And so then I just want to use a larger rhinestone and then we'll use a couple smaller ones. Okay, so now this can just go onto my card base. I'm gonna go ahead and score that card base so that it will fold nicely. So there's a score line on that. Before I press everything down on that score line, I'm just gonna make sure everything lines up and it didn't, that's okay, that's why we do that. I kind of scored at an angle. My trimmer is not right in front of me make that the right on the front of the card. Line that up. 
just like this and this is my card today and I really love the way it came out I loved being able to use this stamp set so just really quick last minute note you guys today is the very last day for celebration so please make sure you get in any of those orders to get that free product that you are wanting I would love for you to come over to my website check this card out check the supply list out and then you can check a link out to the global design uh, project website give this a video a thumbs up if you love stampin up color combo challenges thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today and make sure you come back tomorrow and take a look at my project life weeks 13 and half of week 14 have a great day you guys Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me to the very end of my video today. I have two other videos for you guys. I have the card that I did for the Global Design Project this last week. It was actually my card for Monday. And then I also have a Project Life Core Kit organizational video uh, right there for you in case you are in the mood to do some organization. Thank you guys so much for hanging out with me today. And I'll be back tomorrow to share with you guys again. Have a fabulous day.